here of, of Sarah by Fleetwood Mac. I'll show you what I'm doing here. To start with the intro, uh, I've got a capo on three this time. I've tried a few different ways of playing this one. This sounds about the one that's right sort of harmonically in with the original version. So a capo on three and the first one is, is a D. It's a D shape under a normal on a normal guitar making standard tuning so it basically Strings 1 and 3 held down on 5 and string 2 on 6. And all you do is move the entire position up 2 frets. And then the next chord is this one which is string 1 and 8, string 2 on 10 and string 3 on 9. So those three chords are used for the intro. Now when you get into the main part of the verse there's there's four separate uh, chord groups here and it's alternating between two different chords. Here we go, starting again on a D, a D shape of course, so with the capo on, on the uh, neck. And you're alternating between that chord which is made very simply just Strings two and three held down on five. And the next one is this chord, which is a bar on five. And then string two on six and string four on seven. And that seems to do the trick if you, let, if you keep the bar and lift off the other two fingers. That does the trick. And then the next one. This chord is made by going a string 2 on 6, string 3 and 4 on 7, and string 6 on 6, and string 5 is dampened. And to get a little bit of movement in the chord to aid the song going forward, I'm just alternating with that chord. So I'm taking all the fingers off except the one on string 4 and just putting this. this back on string uh, 2 on fret 5 so it's going to be and back to the other one. This here is a variation on, on this chord. You can do it this way if you want. This will be an A shape under a normal guitar note which is all the <coughs> strings 2, 3 and 4 held down on 5 and alternating on string 2 on 6 or this one this is the same chord but a different voicing this is string 2 on 8, string 3 on 9 and string 4 on 10 and then you're just augmenting it here, string 3 on 10 the advantage, uh, I like this chord because it gives you you like a little 12 string guitar effect on the top two strings just for a little bit of extra harmonic edge in there so that continues that way along the verse and the the, the uh, it was just like the great dark wind uh, and that bit here it's section you can continue with these chords 
And I think that the counterpoint comes from the bass here, unless I'm wrong in the original version of the song. If you're playing solo guitar or um, playing along with another instrument, you could try a different counterpoint. So you can do two times this with the intro chords, as I've already shown. Twice, and then going back, you can go. Do that twice. One on ten and strings two and three on twelve, and then you've got the chord you're familiar with from the intro, and then back to this, or the shape of a D then, which you can let leave off the string one fret uh, seven for a little bit of extra movement. So I've tried that now. I've I've, I've sort of played it through the whole. through the whole song and it seems to chime in just about all right with that in the original tuning okay thanks for watching bye now